Next, we'll create surfaces, or sorry, create paths up to surfaces. First, we'll demo how to create a spline in the sketch. So I'm going to open up a new part, go to 3D, and hit Part Design. It defaults to the geometrical set in the specification tree, where I can go to the YZ plane and select the sketch feature. I'm going to slide this axis to the bottom left corner. You can see my part seems to be going slow. I'm going to hit the Sketch tab, and we're going to use Spline feature. Under Spline, you simply select points, and it creates a curve to pass through the points. So if I start here, let's say I start at 4 inches high, so it's 1 inch in the Y direction and 4 inches in the Z direction, and I click a point. If I click another point, what it will do is draw a straight line. So I'll go here, 4 and 5, and you see I have a straight line. But as soon as I move to a third point, it's going to try and pass a curve that goes through all those points. So I'll come down about to here at 8 and 4. And then I'm going to come back over here. We'll make it too complicated. I'll click on this surface here, or this point here. And then to tell it to stop following me, I can hit a feature in the bottom, reactivate this or any other feature, or just hit escape, and it will stop following me. And that is how you create a spline. The next step would be to constrain it. Two techniques for constraining your spline. I would highlight this whole thing, and I would just go right to auto constrain. And when you use auto constrain and say, okay, it's going to dimension everything off that axis system. All those node points have now been dimensioned, and I can edit the node points. I'll hit undo. Another technique would be to hit anchor, and all those points have been anchored. If I click off of it, the profile is constrained. What's nice about this, if I want to remove this anchor, I can click on it. Of course, my system's going really slow for some reason. Trying to get that X to come up so I can close this thing. I'm trying to delete that anchor. And I got this thing to come up here. I wonder if I just uh, exit my sketcher workbench. No, this thing's still stuck on. See if I can just move this off my screen for now. Let's see if I can continue working. I'll double click that sketch, try and get back into it. Ideally, I should be able to easily grab that anchor, but my system is going super slow right now. But you should be able to delete an anchor. Oh, I deleted them all. Can I delete that one? I don't know why it's not letting me do that. Well, normally I don't do this anyways, but you should be able to delete an anchor and modify a point, and then you can do that. What I'll do in this case is I'll just go back and highlight everything. Find my auto constrain and say OK and let it constrain this profile. And under the standard, we can exit. So that's how you create a sketch, um, a spline in the sketch.